Hey there, slushy enthusiasts, and welcome back to another slushy making episode of Multicasking. I'm your host, Charlie. Appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like me, thumbs down if you don't. It's okay, I don't take it personally. Today, we're in, a, we're in for a delicious treat. It's almost Mardi Gras time. And what has Margarita Man done for us? They made a Bourbon Street staple, the King Cake Daiquiri. What, a daiquiri at a king cake? Yes, if you've never had a king cake, it is a delicious treat. Uh, you have your raisins, you have your nutmeg, you have your brown sugar, your powdered sugar, your cinnamon notes. It's a delicious, delicious treat that is served everywhere during Mardi Gras time, which is just around the corner. If you're watching this later in the year, you can still get yourself a delicious king cake daiquiri by following along with me here today. Uh, we're gonna do everything we have here today, everything I'm gonna make, with the exception of the Bacardi. Links to everything's down in the video description below so you can follow along with me. If you don't have a delicious V4 slushing machine or a Margarita Man slushing machine, don't fret. I always put the blender instructions down in the video description below. So if you just wanna make this, order this bad boy up, throw it in your blender and you're good to go. Let's get to taste and then let's see how closely this gets to the actual king cake. Today, I'm gonna to use one half gallon of gourmet pure king sugar slushy mix for Margarita Man. I'm gonna use two and a half gallons of filtered water using my rubber made one gallon pitcher. Uh, I'm gonna use a 1.75 of the light rum of Bacardi. You can use vodka. I simply pre prefer using light rum in my slushy mixes. And of course, we're gonna use our tasting glasses and links are down that to the down in the video's description below, easy for me to say. And those are affiliated links, some of them. And they do support the channel, which I appreciate your support. So, let's get to mixing this slushy and seeing how close it gets to the king cake. All right, as always, we'll take our slushy machine top off from the back and let's pour in some water using our Rubbermaid pitcher. And I'm not gonna break the glasses as I do that. Now, depending where your slushing machine is at, I always recommend putting the top back on in between mixes. That way, if you're doing this outside, flies don't get in there. You know what flies love? Sugar. Look at that. This is gonna be a, look at that. That's gonna be awesome. Let's put that bad boy in. Now let's add some Bacardi. Got the cranking going on. We got the slushy being made. We're gonna check that back here in about 30 minutes and see what we got. All right, moment of truth. Uh, let's see what we got here and see if this tastes like a king cake. Look at that bad boy. All right, look at that, look at that. Perfect slushy consistency. That right there is a dynamite slushy, look at that. Let's have a taste, see what tasty notes we get. Cheers. Shut up. Shut up, that's a king cake. Wow. All right, I don't know how the people at Margarita Man do it, but dang. All right, if you've never had a king cake, you've probably had like a coffee cake or a German chocolate cake. Boom, right here. It feels like I have the, uh, so when, when I'm reviewing scotch, what's the open, what, what's on the nose, what's on the palate, what's the opening, what's the mid palate, what's the finish? This has the finish like I've just eaten cake. You know how you eat any cake, pick a cake, wedding cake, chocolate cake, birthday cake, whatever cake, you get the aftertaste or that finish of cake, 100% cake. Um, it's a dark cake, the cinnamon is there, the nutmeg is there, the powdered sugar is there. It tastes like cake. I can taste the powdered sugar on top of the cake, wow. Uh, for my flavor, I would prefer the, there's more there'd be more cinnamon in here. There's not enough cinnamon in here for me. It's not overly sweet. It's savory. It's umami. It's dark. It tastes like cake. I can't have I said cake. I don't know if I said cake. It tastes like cake. And it's amazing to me how because I know there's supposed to be powdered sugar on the top of a king cake. Um, it's amazing that I get the flavor of that powdered sugar on top of a cake. Wow. Um, if you are a, this is a mainstay. This was invented, King Cake was invented in Louisiana. If you're someone for likes, uh, let me quiet this down a little bit. If you're someone who likes, loves uh, margarita, loves, uh, not margarita, uh, Mardi Gras, excuse me, Louisiana, I apologize. Mardi Gras, Bourbon Street, you have to try this. Wow, especially if you, if you live in Louisiana and you haven't had this, or if you grew up in Louisiana and you haven't had this, Get this, if you don't have a slushy machine, use a blender, wow. Okay, so I've got a lot to drink here. 
Uh, over here we have the mudslide by Margarita Man. Get ready to review that. I'll leave a link up here in the video's description below. But let me know down in the comments what is your favorite, what's your go-to slushy? Or what slushy do you want me to make? What do you want to see me make? I still have a hankering to do an Orange Julius. Haven't done one yet. I got a hankering to do one. What do you want to see me make? Uh, this is delicious. This is cake. Uh, leave a comment down below. Say hi. Appreciate your subscription. Thumbs up if you like me. Thumbs down if you don't. I'm going to go enjoy this. I got to go let uh, Jean take a taste of this because I don't think she's going to believe the cake taste here that is somehow transformed in my glass. That's it for me today, guys. I'm Charlie and I hope you're just as thirsty as I am. Man! <laughs>